We got it today, take the cancer out, which is the voice box, and probably some of the swallowing tube. I only do um, head and neck tumor surgery, so some of those tumors are benign, uh, but I operate on salivary glands, I do advanced skin cancer surgery, such as melanoma, but most of what we do is still uh, related to cancers of the throat and mouth. I operate anywhere from one to three days a week, and uh, we try to balance that with our clinic responsibilities and then my responsibilities working as the leader of the cancer center. And if we get all that done, then we'll get you out of here as quickly as we can. I do spend a lot of time reviewing the patient's chart, looking at their CT scans, thinking about the approach, and really running through the operation a couple of times in my head. I talk to the residents about the cases every night uh, before we operate together. You know, we try to have no surprises. It's another example of, of how we really need the team to deliver uh, great cancer care. Awesome. Okay. A lot of what we do is two team complex cases and so one of us will do the resection meaning we take the, we remove the cancer and then another one of my partners will come in and they'll do the reconstruction. Planning on being here to take some tissue from somewhere else in you to help rebuild that so either your chest. The reconstruction is a, is a key piece to really getting patients not only through the surgery and back to their lives or back to leading you know, productive lives and doing the things that they were doing before surgery. We built this expansion, started designing it probably four or five years ago. We've been able to expand the space to really reflect not just the treatment, but the recovery, rehabilitation, get back to normal aspects of cancer care. And, you know, I went into cancer care because of the relationships. It's difficult work, but at the same time, you develop long-term relationships with patients. That's who, her husband's how we actually got it. He got it at work. You know, it may be easier to develop a relationship with someone without a mask via a video connection than it is with a mask in person. Telehealth allows you to make those connections. Number one, it, it, it seems to be making things easier for patients. It certainly streamlines their care, and I think importantly from a cancer care standpoint, it allows us to deliver at least the surgical part of it as quickly as possible. Yeah, well, you know, it, it can happen. And We're trying to make this terrible time in life be as easy as possible. I think it's revolutionized the way that we will care for cancer patients in the future.